Hi, it's Laura here from lauratomasauthor.com. I'm an author and a book lover, and today I'm bringing you a book review for Kristen Hanna's The Four Winds. Now this was just published in February 2021 by St. Martin's Press. And The Four Winds is a historical fiction and it's Kristen Hanna's latest. You may be familiar with some of her other amazing books, which include The Great Alone, Night Road, Winter Garden, Magic Hour, and one of my favorite all-time novels, The Nightingale. I read at least 10 of her books and she never fails to deliver when it comes to a compelling reading and just brilliant characters. Uh, so um, this one did not disappoint. As you can see from the cover, it's bold and it's beautiful. And I love how the speckles of gold dust on the front and the back cover are actually carried into the inside of the book as well. I think that's such a lovely touch. Love is what remains when everything else is gone. That's a quote from the book and it kind of sums it up really well. This epic tale is set in 1930s Texas during the Great Depression. And we follow the life of Elsa Martinelli as she um, endures all kinds of hardships and uh, we see a real, real brave woman develop and evolve. If I had to sum this book up in one word, it would be gritty for a couple of reasons. One, for me myself, if I get a piece of grit in my eye, like if it flies up from the road, I am such a baby. I really am. I hate having anything in my eyes. I cannot even begin to imagine going through this, uh, what was known as the Dust Bowl during the Great Depression, where uh, these great big windstorms would come in and they would literally take lives and everything was just covered with thick, thick layers of dust. And uh, that's a big part of the story. The other gritty part of the book, in my opinion, is the growth of our protagonist, Elsa. When she starts off, um, we see a young woman who is really, really insecure. Uh, she has a tragic, cruel upbringing, really, and uh, then finds herself in a, a marriage because she got pregnant. It's a loveless marriage, um, and she has to overcome all kinds of obstacles and then we have the windstorms and the dust and just tragedy after tragedy. Without giving away any spoilers, this lady who had very little in the way of uh, self-esteem ends up taking her children from uh, the depths of these uh, dust storms on the farm, which is killing people and leaving people horribly sick. Her and many, many other people migrate to other areas of the States. So she drives through the desert uh, to California. And uh, without giving away too much, let's just say she takes a family from the frying pan to the fire. So um, yeah, just when you think maybe there's a little light at the end of the tunnel, it, there's just more and more trials and tragedies for this poor woman to endure. So the pros. I would say for me, uh, I learned a lot. I lived in the UK and I live in Canada now and my uh, American history is very limited to be honest and I knew nothing about the Dust Bowl before I read this book. So I found it very, very interesting and Kristen Hanna brings the whole scene to life in such a vivid way. Um, I was very, very impressed with that. Um, also, I love a character that I can root for. And to be honest, at the beginning with Elsa, um, I was a little frustrated with her because she, I felt like she needed a bit of a, a bit of a, a boost, you know, a bit of a kick and uh, to get things going. She really was hard on herself. It was very sad. But I went from kind of being frustrated by her to cheering her on 
And then by the end of the book, I'm just in awe of this woman's courage and tenacity. So her growth was amazing. And um, I just grew to love her so much by the end of the book. Um, if you're looking for a book that will grip you by the heartstrings for at least a week after you've finished it, this could be your next read. And also, if you've read any other of Kristen Hanna's books, um, then I think for sure you need to check this one out. The cons, um, obviously this book is depressing. It just is because it's a, based in the Great Depression and um, there's a lot of sadness involved in this. So if that's not your jam, if that's something that you don't enjoy reading, then um, this is not a light, fluffy book by any stretch of the imagination. Um, also the timing, like maybe with our own trials and pandemic and everything, this might not be the right timing for you um, to read this book. But if it's not, I really still encourage you to maybe keep it on your shelf for a later date. Um, and it's raw. It really is a raw story. Um, there's unplanned pregnancy, um, there's tragedy, there's a lot of death. Um, but it's a heavy read, but I loved it. In summary, this is a stunning story of survival, of hope and heroism. It's rejection, motherhood, endurance, resilience. It's the unconditional love of a mother toward her children. It's a story of a woman who was unloved uh, growing up in her home, unloved in her marriage, but she learned to love her children so, so fiercely. And uh, she was determined to give them a hope and a future. It's really, really worth a read. If you'd like to pick a copy of The Four Winds Up, if you look below in the description, I have a link to Amazon. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about me, you can find me at thomasauthor.com. I'd love you to hit like and to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other book reviews. And so for now, thank you so much for watching and wish you happy reading.